you're watching this video tutorial because your PlayStation 4 is running out of free space and there is no enough capacity to install new games on it. Then you're gonna learn how to reduce and compress the games to fix the problem. Stay tuned. Yo, what's up guys, this is Dex and you're watching Dexec Pro. In this video tutorial, I'm gonna be teaching you how to compress the size of the PlayStation 4 games, making them drastically small in order to save the free space on your PlayStation 4 hard disk drive. Open up GitHub repository, the link is in description below, and click on just download pkgreaper.exe file, then click on download.net zip.dll file. Next one you want to download is PS4 Fake PKG Tools from here by clicking on code and download zip. Link is in description below. Here are the files. Make a new folder and call it PS4. Open it up, drag and drop both DLL file and PKG Reaper into the PS4 folder. Open up PS4 Fake PKG Tools RAR file. Select them all and drag and drop the contents into the PS4 folder. Double click on PKG Reaper to open up. Click on Patches, then click on Create. Click on Browse to browse the game you want to compress. I'm not compressing it yet, but making a patch file which is needed for the next step. Patch file is needed every time you want to compress games and updates for your information. So the game I'm gonna work on is Days Gone, which has the base and update files. So I choose base.pkg and open it up. Since my game has update, I'm gonna import the update into the patch list in order to remove redundant files automatically. If you only have the game, not the update, you don't need to do this at all because there is no redundant files to compare with. Click on duplicate from update, then select the game's update to import. There it is, these files are duplicated and moved to the removal list automatically to get rid of. So you can also manually remove redundant files from this list such as languages, cutscenes, etc. You just need to check them and click on these two arrows to add them into the removal list. At the bottom, you can see the amount of space that will be saved on your PlayStation 4 after compression. Click on create patch file. Patch is ready. Close the window. Now it's time to compress the game with the patch I already made but this time I click on browse and add the game. Select the patch that is already made, then click on go, click on ok. Ok, here is how it works. Package Reaper starts to extract the game contents first, then it applies the patch we made and removes redundant files from it, and finally repacks the modified contents to PKG file that I'll install on my PlayStation 4. This process takes time depends on the size of the game and number of items in removal list for sure, ok, so you gotta wait till it's finished. Alrighty, it says image created which means that the game is ready. It's a good sign. Click on OK, then click on open destination folder. It is the modified game. Let me rename it to base-compressed. Then I'm gonna cut and paste it into the root of my USB hard drive to install on my PlayStation 4 later on. Great, now it's time to make patch files for games update. Click on patches, create. Browse, then select and open the game's update PKG file. There it is. I named it patch actually. You can remove unnecessary files from the update manually by checking items from here. Then click on these two arrows to add them into the removal list if you wish so. I'm gonna call this patch update-compressed. Then click on create patch file. OK and close the patch window. Now it's time to apply the patch on update file by clicking on browse. Select the update file, select the patch file, and here is the way guys. To make this update work with the file I already compressed, we need to so to say marry update file with the base file in order to be playable on PlayStation 4. So I click on browse and go to my USB hard disk drive, then select base-compressed file to open up. Now I'm good to go, so I click on go. Again, it starts to extract the update file, then applies the patch file then remarries this update file with the base file and finally create the pkg file to install on PlayStation 4. This process could take time guys, so you wanna wait till it's finished. Ok guys, here it is. It says image is created and the update file is ready which is great. Click on OK, then open destination folder. Here is the compressed update file. Let me rename it to compressed-update. 
then cut and paste it into the root of USB hard disk drive. Make sure that the file system of your USB stick or hard disk drive is formatted with XFAT. Ok, the compressed version of the Days Gone is totally ready to install on my PlayStation 4. But let's compare it with uncompressed version first. This is the same game and update with the size of 63.5 GB. And this is the compressed version of the game I just made with the size of 20.3 GB, which is totally insane guys, right? Of course it is. Alright, plug the hard disk drive back to the PS4 for installation. I already ran the gold hand and the console is totally jailbroken. This is uncompressed version of the Days Gone that is installed on my PlayStation 4 and let me show you the size and the disk which is 68.32 GB. So I removed this one and try to install the compressed version in order to convert the size on the disk again. Go to settings, gold hand, package installer and install them both. Alright, installation finished without errors, which is great. Now let's check the size on the disk, which is 21.91 GB, while the original size was 68.32 GB. So I saved about 46.41 GB on my PS4 hard disk drive, which is tremendous. So let me just fire up the game in order to make sure that it is working like a charm. Thought we'd never make it. Hey, uh, why don't you wait out here? Let me make sure it's all clear. Damn it, Boozer, your arm's not gonna be fine. I gotta find something for his arm. Alrighty guys, as you can see that there is no problem running the game and that's the end of this video tutorial. Thank you for watching and have a good one. Subscribe to Dextech Pro YouTube channel. Channel.